Chairman, Val DiGiorgio! Welcome to Trump Country! Look at this, this is America. And the President will be here shortly. We're gonna give him a great Pennsylvania welcome like we always do, the state that put him into the presidency in 2016. That was a little gray out here. If you, if you give me one second, it goes me. I need to put on a hat. To... Let's make America great again in 2020. Pennsylvania's gonna do it. And I'm pumped again to welcome Donald Trump again to Pennsylvania. And uh, every time he comes, we get a great crowd. We've got. Standing room only, you saw the line going on for blocks. They didn't have, we didn't have to do it in the Philadelphia Parkway so they had bystanders show up like Joe Biden did. We just invite you all and you come to support our president. Right. And we have so much to be thankful for for what this president has done. You know, the economy, we don't know how great it's doing. We can thank Donald Trump for the best economy in generations right here. Thank you, Donald Trump. Pennsylvania's revenues are a billion dollars over estimates because revenue's coming in because the economy's doing so well. Thank you, Donald Trump. We're respected again, home and across the world because he rebuilt our military and he leads through strength and he negotiates with friends and foes alike but knows we're backed up by the best military in the world. I want to thank our military men and women. And thank you, Donald Trump. A hundred new conservative judges pointed to courts all across our federal judge, our federal bench, including Justice Kavanaugh and Justice Gorsuch. Thank you, Donald Trump. You know when they stopped, when they tried to stop our president from protecting our border and building a wall, Nancy Pelosi said about the Democrats, "Our strength is in our unity." Well, we're going to show them what unity is for people who love America, respect America, want people to come here legally, be part of the process, but want to protect our borders. We're going to support our president. Yeah. So you know what's at stake. We all know what's at stake. You need to start volunteering now, signing up now, get other folks to volunteer so we put an army on the streets of Pennsylvania in 2020 to reelect our president. So now I have uh, the distinct privilege of introducing uh, a great speaker, a great friend, a patriot, someone who works uh, tirelessly supporting the president. You've probably seen her on Hannity. She has a syndicated talk show called Rose Unplugged. She's a true patriot, a true supporter of the president. It's a big a warm welcome for Rose Tennant. <laughs> 